Hi, it's Kamil here. Um, I'd like to make a short comment uh, on certain the events that have happened in London. As you know, there have been uh, big riots uh, now in 2011, uh, in August. Uh, you know, so what I have noticed from uh, many young people speaking out there on TV, uh, and not only, the fault lies within the police. You know, because police are really too aggressive, too demanding. You know, young people, let's say a, a very well-respected gangster walks along the street, you know, and, and the police dare to stop him and search him and sometimes even they dare to arrest him. And he was just carrying a gun, you know, for fun. He didn't mean to use it, it was just, you know, for fun. Or a, a group of ten, ten young people with, with hoods walking peacefully uh, along, uh, you know, somewhere and, you know, police stop them uh, and, you know, search them, demand lots of things, ask questions. Well, instead the police should just go there, yeah, we respect you, you know, thank you for being good citizens, uh, and so on and so on. So obviously, uh, the fault lies within the police, yeah? They are too aggressive, too brutal, and, and so on and so on. Well, what that tells me, that we as a society, we have failed to, to take care of all the, the members of the society. So young people do not feel members of the society, they feel disrespected, you know, and, and they want to organize themselves to show the, their own presence and, and the only way for them to do it is to organize themselves into gangs and that's how they can feel that they are important, that they mean anything, yes? That, that's one aspect of the whole thing, so I'm, I don't want to go into details, but uh, I would like all of us to think about this, you know, we need to be responsible for the whole society. It's not like some people say, yeah, it's parents' fault. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but we need to support those parents. You know, there are many parents that would like to bring the children up in a, in a so-called good way, responsible way, but they don't know how, you know, and, and they have failed. And, and the law is against them. The parent cannot hit the child. The, par the parent cannot, you know, s go into the, the child's room and, and search it and things like this. It is ridiculous. How we as a society, how do we support young people? How do we support the parents who want to bring up those people? You know, let's say if you are 20, 25 and you have a child, well, you are still a young person yourself, a child yourself. How are you supposed to know how to bring up a child, you know, and, and, and educate the child to a very good standard? You know, if there is no grand, grandparents or some other trained educators around, you know, it's not going to happen. Uh, schools, you know, people, you know, shove the responsibility onto schools, but, you know, schools, they also have, you know, certain limits. Teachers cannot... Uh, you know, do certain things. Not many teachers actually are very good at bringing up children. They are good teachers, but they are not very good at, you know, um, being a, a role model for, for young people. You know, you can't do anything about this. And, and even if you train all the t teachers in that by experts, still some people have aptitude, some people don't. So you cannot expect everybody to be a great cook or great, you know, sportsman. And in the same way, you cannot ex expect every teacher to be a great educator, yeah? So we as a society, we need to look really what's happening, look at the big picture and, and take responsibility for what's happening. You see, uh, well, you as an individual, what can you do if you see a group of young people misbehaving? Well, you can't do much. However, you can start thinking, okay, what can we do? Maybe we can ask our MP to create a special groups. Maybe we can uh, ask MPs to change our educational system completely because the educational system it is quite bad and even teachers admit it's quite bad it doesn't teach people really how to be a good citizen how to how to love each other they just teach people how to have a job and be a slave till the end of your life so there are many things we we need to think about and and start taking responsibility and stop you know blaming others blaming the government blaming uh, parents blaming those young people you know those young people they do what they think is best for them and if, there is, if they can't do anything else, it's because we as a society, we haven't educated them. Yeah, if, if you are you know, in a rich family, a well-educated family, you know, it's, it's quite easy. You just followed your parents' example. But many of those people, they didn't have anybody to follow, really. And, and the only role models were, you know, uh, other gangsters. So you cannot blame anybody, you just, if you want to blame, blame yourself for not taking responsibility for this. Um, so that's, anyway, that's my view on the whole um, situation. So what's your view? Please leave me questions and, and let's have a discussion. Thank you.